I have a great icebreaker assignment. Um, and again, this is a little bit of a cheat or a advantage that I have due to my discipline, but um, because I'm an art historian, one of the first things I have to teach them is the term iconography, which is basically, um, you know, culturally specific symbolism, um, elements within a work of art that anyone in that time period or culture could read or understand because they're laden with some kind of symbolism um, or the, the insinuation of content that is beyond the literal. And a good example that I use in this icebreaker assignment is the difference between a photograph of an apple, let's say a Red Delicious or a Gala or any kind of Granny Smith, and um, the logo for Apple computers or Macintosh, right, for Mac computers. And how that logo for Mac is really a symbol of iconography because if you didn't live in the 20th or 21st Western world, you wouldn't know what that symbolizes you would just think it's a really simple silhouette of an apple with a bite out of it. And so what I have them do as their icebreaker assignment is I have them take a photograph of themselves where they have iconography in the photograph. And I, I have to tell them, don't take a selfie. I don't want you to take a selfie because it's not what I'm looking for, you know? So I <laughs> said, so no poses where you're three quarter and where you're pouting your lips, but think about things that symbolize who you are. You know, if you're uh, someone who likes to play music, put your guitar in the photograph. If you're someone who likes to paint, you know, put your palette and your paintbrushes there. If you're proud of your children, put your children or your photographs of your children in the picture. And then what they do is they have to um, go from each student to student's picture and guess what that person is like based on what symbols are in the photograph. And it's a great icebreaker because it's, you know, it uses a little bit of those principles of gamification. It's like a game, you know, a mystery, kind of solve the mystery. And then they already start learning iconography because they're learning to decode the cultural symbols within everybody, uh, the, all of their fellow classmate students' um, images. And then also they get to know each other really well because they're curious because they've started this like, well, what does that mean? Why does this person have a set of bongos? You know, or why is this woman showing herself, you know, giving vaccinations to children in Rwanda? What does she do? And it becomes a kind of point of curiosity. And um, time and time again, students tell me that that is the best icebreaker they've ever participated in.